and welcome to this online arbitrage doers video. So I just wanted to do a little one all about using a prep center. So you can either prepare your items at home and send it off to Amazon, or you can make use of a prep center, which is great if you want all of the preparation to be handled elsewhere. So on this slide, I've put the three main points that I'm gonna be talking about. Um, and as we work our way through, I'm gonna elaborate on those points. So a prep center is a service that receives, inspects, prepares, and ships your items to Amazon for you. So this is super useful if you don't want your own workspace um, covered in items and packaging and things like that. So uh, whether it be your home or your garage, you might not want all of that stuff in there, particularly around Q4, which is the busiest time of year. So you can have lots of stock, uh, lots of packaging knocking around. And so maybe making use of a prep center just helps you in that respect. You can be a bit more hands-free. If it is a local prep center, then you can drop off your retail arbitrage items to them. Uh, alternatively, you can send your online arbitrage and wholesale items over to that prep center. Next point is checking the prep center's pricing and see if they charge per item or maybe do a monthly rate. But if they do do a monthly rate, make sure that you know everything involved in what you're being charged because you don't want to get to the end of the month and you think you're being charged X amount and maybe they're charging you extra for say bubble wrap, for example. So if they do do a monthly rate, just do a bit more uh, due diligence and check with them to make sure that you know everything that is going into that monthly rate and if there are uh, any extras or anything like that as you don't want a nasty surprise at the end of the month. My next point is picking a smart location. So you can have it local to you if you do want to drop off your retail arbitrage items to them or it might be a case of picking a prep center that's close to the headquarters of a retailer where you shop often because you'll have to get your things from that retailer through to the prep center, or more you'll have the retailer send stuff over to that prep center. So think about the shipping costs. Obviously the further that item has to travel to the prep center, the bigger the shipping cost is for you. So maybe having it closer to the headquarters of a retailer where you constantly shop might be a good idea to reduce those shipping costs. And my next point is checking the turnaround times for that prep center. So most prep centers will have everything ready to send to Amazon within 24 to 48 hours, they'll have completed that entire process within that time. Um, some prep centers may take a little bit longer, but again, this is down to you to do your own research. Uh, check the reviews for that prep center, check their turnaround time, see what other people have said. If you are in any uh, Amazon seller-based Facebook groups or anything like that, ask in there, ask them what they think of a specific prep center if anyone else uses one. So do your own due diligence, check the reviews for that prep center and make sure you know what you're getting into before you get into it. Obviously, if a prep center has got um, a bad reputation or they have longer turnaround times, this can uh, really affect you as the seller as it means delays in sales and things and then unhappy customers and things like that and it all just falls back on you. So just check the turnaround times, check the reviews, make sure that you are going for a good prep center. The good bit about selecting your own prep center is that there is not a completely right or a completely wrong answer. It is entirely up to you. You have the freedom to choose your own prep center. Just make sure that you bear all of these things in mind. So we've covered what they are, we've covered checking the pricing, and we've covered choosing a location and the turnaround times. Hopefully this helps you out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.